What is up my aesthetic boys, it's Fresh back with another video, thank you guys so much for the support over the last few days, Discord server coming tomorrow, I promise, we got a good episode of r slash that happened today, so let's get right into it. I'm at a maternity hospital, and it's also a kid's hospital, and this pregnant kid just walked in and just had an abortion in the middle of the hallway. Hashtag TW abortion. Hashtag I'm like, hashtag shocked. Hashtag I came here to donate blood to a kid that's a family friend's child and has leukemia. Hashtag she's crying saying it's her fault. Hashtag and the nurses are trying to calm her down while calling a doctor. Hashtag poor kid, she's like, hashtag 16. Now, despite the obnoxious use of weirdly specific hashtags used to further this story's subplot, I don't think that's how either hospitals or abortions work. Today in class, Siri went off, and I just ignored it, and my teacher said, The age of the star determines how the star will die. Then Siri said, That is false. The mass determines the death of a star. Because that's how Siri works. You don't ask questions or anything like that. It just kind of turns on randomly, hears some conversation, and jumps into correct like a member of I Am Very Smart. OMG, I was at a Starbucks and there was this girl and she had her hair in a bun and had a crop top with flowers on it and I hissed, hipster blog, and she turned around and snarled, fanda blog, and then we shook hands and exchanged URLs. Her Tumblr is pretty nice, I, I don't see why there's a rivalry, we're all wasting our lives on the same website. And then all the coffee in that Starbucks began to applaud. My kid died because of this game. So my kid was playing this game, Fortnite, and he said he did not get number one, won the game, and he jumped out of the window because of it. The doc says he's in a coma and he might die. Thanks, Epic Games. You are the reason my kid is dead. Okay, gamers. Now this is Epic. Yes, I got robbed by a gang asking me for directions to the freeway, pointed a cold 45 to my head and took my money. Jokes on them, I had $200 on me and they only got five. Then the two girls I was with felt so bad they had a threesome with me. Silver lining. Ah, uh, that happened. But it actually did happen when I was 16. Yep. I can confirm that. I was, uh, I was the cold 45. Had to share this. So the KFC I work at actually uses fresh chickens on site to make their food. We have a big coop in the back and each morning the on-duty butcher does his thing. Do I have to go into detail? A lot of our staff is really upset at this as they hate the fact that we basically slaughter these animals on the premises and we just don't say much because our general manager is really strict about it and argues with us every time we bring it up and one of our old staff members got fired for threatening to expose him. Last week I decided to take action and I hit a camera inside the coop and videoed what was happening played it on a projector I set up in the restaurant in front of all the customers. People got so mad they started throwing their food at our manager and the police showed up and arrested him. I let all the live chickens free into the eating area and everyone applauded as they all escaped out the door. I'm now heading to bed as I've got an early shift tomorrow as new head manager. Can you imagine what the old manager would have said when this girl was like setting up a projector in the middle of the restaurant? I know that this really can't be real and I, I don't even think the post can be real, but goddamn it's entertaining. The mind of a vegan sure is a mystery. OMG, so today at this interview, the lady asks when my birthday is, and I tell her August 5th, and she writes down LEO in all caps and underlined it three times. Not sure if good or bad, well, let me add something to the mix. Nobody cares what your sign is. Literally no one, and especially not an employer. My husband, sons, four and six, and I watched this Terry Crews show. Four-year-old, he's so beautiful. Six-year-old. But how can such a strong person be so soft-hearted? Husband, it takes the most strength to keep a soft heart in the world, babe. Me, writing it all down. Thanks for this beautiful moment. When I showed this to my dog, he took a puff of his pipe and said, Master, we must remind ourselves that we are not one-dimensional beings. Then we all stood up and clapped. You know who that four-year-old was? Albert Einstein. Sitting in the car, my kids rubbing his eyes. Daddy, something is wrong. Oh, uh, something wrong with your eyes, kid? No, daddy. Something is wrong with the world. Hashtag truth. I don't know how old this kid is, but the best that I can say is that imagine you think of a really cool scenario in your head and you're like, damn, wouldn't that be cool? But instead of leaving it there, you decide to post it to social media. That's, uh, that's what happened here. That charge feature is not gimmicky at all. One day out there, there was this girl saying that her phone was dying and I told her to put her phone on top of mine. I asked her if she needed recharge too. She smiled, and half an hour later I was smiling too. Hmm? 
I'd like to subscribe to more Tall Tales by Virgins, please. That would make a great subreddit. Like, nice guys, but way less offensive. So yesterday, my 12-month-year-old son stole my phone and guessed my passcode. He then downloaded an app called Panda Pop and played it for the next four hours, pretending he was taking a nap. Kids are hilarious. What a wacky kid you got there who's a 12-month-year-old. That's, that's generally how dates work as far as I know. My son's pediatrician was like, we gave your son the wrong vaccination, so you owe us $700. And I'm like, what? He was like, we gave him the insured vaccinations and not the free vaccination. So, like, what's the difference? He didn't respond. Now I'm wondering, what are they giving the poor kids with Medicaid and Famis? Is that why it's more black kids with ADHD? Hashtag mind wandering. Hashtag mom against vaccines. Stop lying about medical things. It's not true. There aren't two vaccines. That's not why black people have ADHD. What kind of a weird question is that? I... Anti-vaxxers are in every single subreddit and I still hate it. The so-called stress that you are experiencing is called life. I'm almost 20 and I've written three wills, had to go to school, stay up for 24 hours or more, then go home just to take care of homework, bills, family problems, etc. I'll get two hours of sleep, then go back to work just to run 10 miles and then go out and shoot 40-40 targets at a 300 meter distance all on insufficient sleep. Quit complaining. You are literally at a place that will teach you how to be successful in life. And if you went to bed instead of playing Xbox or drinking all night or whatever it is you all do, then maybe you'd be able to handle your overly stressed life. We gotta, we gotta cross over with r slash gatekeeping, also r slash I need self-validation because nobody's gonna give it to me. Like, people can be stressed in different ways, dude, and clearly you are not getting the recognition or something that you deserve if you feel the need to, to rant in a paragraph when someone else is stressed about school, about your time in the army, like, come on. Okay, but guys, I dropped a drop or two of black liquid eyeliner into my eye like a week ago and it cleared up, right? Well, it's cold and windy out, so my eyes starting watering, and I swear to god, black tears starting rolling down my face. I scared the hell out of my dad. He called me a devil in Spanish. Well, when he starts speaking Spanish, that's when you know it's a bad sign. Plot twist, he doesn't know any Spanish. But seriously, I don't think that's how eyes or mascara work, though to be fair as a guy, I don't think I'm an expert on mascara. Let me get those female opinions. Females in the audience, do you think that mascara would do this? Drop a comment. Two weeks ago, I told kids at school to write an essay titled, If I Were a Millionaire. Everyone was writing, except a girl who leaned back with her arms folded. What's the matter, I asked. Why aren't you writing? I'm waiting for my secretary, she replied. Scored her 10 out of 10. You know who that little girl in that little classroom grew up to be? Barack Hussein Obama, 44th President of these United States of America. Thank you to everyone who watched this video. Be sure to subscribe for more daily Reddit content. Drop a like if you like the video, and I will see you all tomorrow.